Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. Oh, yeah. My name is Steve, and Dylan asked me to host the video for the day. And I said, Dylan, of course, I'd love to. I drive Uber and Lyft, and so I guess that makes me somewhat qualified to do a video for you. I don't know. I'm driving while doing it a video, so that's probably not too safe. Make a right but turn on Road. I thought it would add to the effect, okay? Dylan and I have something in common that's really cool, but before I get to that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can be notified when all of these awesome videos for Ride Your Hub come out. Come on now, just do it, do it to it. All right, back to me and Dylan. He and I connected through our YouTube channels. I emailed him about his about the Rideshare Hub, and in talking to him, it turns out that Dylan and I have a ton in common. I started driving Uber and Lyft as a side job to help pay off my debt, to pay down my debt, and I've got a long way to go. Not even close to getting there yet, but I'm plowing ahead, and I did so because of a gentleman named Dave Ramsey who I met that teaches people how to get out of debt and manage their finances. You should check them out if you can. Turns out Dylan got into driving Uber and Lyft for the same reason. I thought that was just so cool. I mean, what are the chances? Dylan asked me, hey, could you show everybody what you made in a month driving Uber and Lyft? I said, absolutely. I'm gonna go over my September numbers and I want to preface these numbers with a little bit of background about me and my driving and how much I put into it. I think I'm about average. And you know, you see these people and they say they've made, you know, I don't know, they're making $28, $35 an hour and you think, really, like how do you do it? I, I am not that savvy. I am not that aggressive. I am not that strategic when I drive. I just kind of put on my app and I get out and I go. And I also put on my app while I'm in my house and I let the app sit there, sometimes for even 20 minutes or half an hour before I get my first ride. And then once I get that first ride, I go out. Keep that in mind, I turn my app on early. And then a lot of times I'll just leave my app on while I'm driving. Sometimes I, because I drive both Uber and Lyft, sometimes I forget to turn my Lyft app off while I'm getting an Uber ride or vice versa. So I'm going to show you these numbers, and as you look at these numbers, you should probably consider the fact that you're going to probably make at least this much, and probably more, if you're a smarter, more savvy, more ambitious driver than I am. Okay, let's check them out. The first week of September, September 2nd to September 9th, I made $65 and some change. You see on the app, it's four hours and 20 minutes. Honestly, that's probably more like three hours and 45 minutes. So, you know, if you divide that up, that's 15, after gas, that's like 15 bucks an hour. September 9 to September 16, as you see, $173. And I was online for about nine and a half hours. I'm going to say it was probably more like eight and a half hours because of the times that I left the app on when I wasn't taking rides, either because I had the Lyft app on or I was just waiting for a ride. So, you know, quick little division there. It's not too bad. After gas, what are we looking at? Maybe 16 bucks an hour? Then we go to September 16 to September 23. $135. You see there, it's about six and a half hours, and it's probably a little less than six and a half hours, probably six hours. I'm starting to get redundant, but you know what I'm saying. And then we go to the last week of September 23rd, uh, 23rd, yeah, 23rd to the 30th. I barely got out at all, about three hours worth, and made 60 bucks. And again, that's at least $15 an hour after gas is included. What you can gauge from those numbers is the following. An average driver like myself, who's not exactly the most strategic, maybe not the most ambitious, maybe the most savvy, can make 
15 bucks an hour. It's really not too bad. It's going to be up to you to judge whether or not that's decent or not. I, for one, say it is, and that is why I drive. And that's it for this video for the Rideshare Hub. Again, make sure you subscribe to the Rideshare Hub. Hit the notification button and give the... I hope you give the video a like. That means that I didn't do too bad. Dylan, I hope I made you proud. And in case you want some more Uber and Lyft type of videos, you can also check out my YouTube channel, Mission Uber. Do a lot of kind of cool stuff there. Some trivia with my riders and I just goof around and also have some Uber tips and also some tips on getting out of debt. So check it out. This was a pleasure. Dylan, thank you so much for letting me come on. I'm Steve, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Whatever. <laughs>